Hi, I'm Deborah Atkinson, and this is Flipping 50, the place to reset, shape up, and prepare for your second and better half with the vitality and the energy that you want. In every episode, I answer questions from women just like you about what they're struggling with most, and I provide the solutions to what to eat, how to move, and your biggest time challenges, so you can focus on the one or two key things that'll get you the most results in the least amount of time. Send me your question to flipping50tv.com. And if I choose your question for the show, I'm gonna send you exclusive access to some gifts and goodies I'll tell you more about later, so stay tuned. Even if I don't choose your question for the show, you immediately get access to Muscles in Minutes, my guide for toning those hard to tone areas. Today's question is from Teresa, who writes, I have lost 110 pounds since 2011. I did it with diet and exercise. I now have loose skin in my hips, butt, front of my legs, and dry, crappy skin. What exercise can I do to tighten and build muscles? And what creams or supplements can I take to have healthy looking skin? Teresa, first of all, let's all give you a round of applause. Losing 110 pounds and maintaining that loss is not something I wanna skip over quickly. I put together, along with my army of experts, a complete Flipping 50 program just for you. Let's take a look. In today's Muscles in Minutes, I designed an exercise routine you can do in the comfort of your own home. It's gonna complement your walking and have you moving in all three planes of motion. In today's expert army, I'm gonna to talk to my friend and top plastic surgeon, Dr. Tony Yoon, who's got some great ideas about how you can improve your skin. Then, we're gonna finish with Minute Made Meals, and I'm gonna show you simple, easy solutions for toning up your skin from the inside out. So let's get started with Muscles in Minutes and the three sets of exercise I've got right now waiting for you. Before you exercise, no matter what it is, you have to do some kind of a warm up. So let's do it, start with the side step. We'll just change some easy rotations, throw some knees, some ham curls into it. And I want you to be thinking about how you're gonna use these three sets of three exercises that I'm gonna give you. So you're gonna start with 15 repetitions of each. And when going through all 15 is easy, you're gonna add a second set. When you do two sets of 15 repetitions of every exercise, you're gonna add a third set. So now we're talking three sets, 15 reps. When you can do that easily, two workouts in a row, you have choices. You can either add more weight, but let's say you don't wanna go out and buy more weights, or that's just not an option for you at home. Your other option is to slow things down. So we change tempo. Rather than lifting in one, push, and then lower down in three or four, what you're gonna do is lift in two, hold for two, and lower down in four. For the full details on all of that, go to the Flipping 50 tab on foreverfitandfab.com, and you'll know exactly what to do with the exercises. We're gonna start right now. Okay, so in a squat, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, hold on to your weight right here in the center, and you're gonna drop straight down. Weight's on your heels. Your toes are wiggling inside your shoe. And really push heels into the ground to bring the crown of your head up. And notice, my chest is straight to you, so stay tall. Keep looking at me. Your weight may or may not touch the ground, that's okay. Perfect, next exercise. Hold the weight close to you, roll back, and let's bridge up just to make that a little bit more work for your core. I'm gonna bring this straight up and back to the chest. And you go straight with your arm, but you keep a little flexion in your elbows so you're not locking out at the top. Weight should be right in the center of your head. 
want to make sure you have a little arch underneath your neck so you're not jamming your chin to your chest and up push nice work exhale keep those hips high weights on your heels and your feet here and you're almost there bring it in and down careful transition here we're going to come back to a standing position so now the bent over row we're going to do 15 on each side so position yourself tailbone out chest up little arch in the small of your back and here we go exhale as you come up this is light on my hand here Almost there. Keep that breathing going. And switch. You're not on the couch, right? Soft on this knee. Doing great. Hang in there. Got it. Okay, for set two, move your prop out of the way. Stand right in the center of your mat. You're gonna take it to the side, come up, and sit back in a curtsy. So it's outside, up, and back. And this inside leg stays long until right now. And up. You got it. Nice and tall. We got a little bit of bounce going on, which means a lot of core going on. Stay tall. A little heavy breathing is natural. Using those major muscle groups. A little fatigue right here. Should be about right, right now. Close to the end. We're gonna switch sides. So it's out. And give yourself a little patience here. From one side to the other. Sometimes have to figure out how this hip feels about things. Nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, core is tight. Little pause and then down. Looking good. Made it. You're gonna go one at a time, straight up, all the while keeping your shoulders square over those hips so your core is really engaged. This looks like a shoulder exercise, and it is. However, it is also a lot of core done correctly. And if you're not doing it correctly, you'll know, because you'll feel a lot in your lower back, right in the small of your back. So focus on that, core in front, nice and tight, and up. Doing great. Exhale, straight and lift. As you get tired, gets easy to get sloppy, hold on to that center. And you got it. So bring your ball right underneath your ankles. So your feet are right in the center of it. It's not too far away. It's not too close to your knees. 
You're gonna put your elbows close to your sides, dig them in, instead of this where you're gonna strain and tighten up through the neck, keep yourself back in here. And here we go. I want you to lift up first and then curl the ball towards you. Leave your hips in the air, knees together, that matters. Looking good. Exhale. Little breath out right there. Bring it in, breathe out. Getting close, hang in there and stay high. Pull and release. Nice job. All right, so at the wall, with the ball, right in the small of your back, and it's a Dr. Seuss rhyme, the ball and small at the wall. Here we go. You're gonna come all the way down. Hips are still above your knees. Come halfway up, all the way back down, and then up. That's one. Here we go. It's like a W, up, down, and push. Weights on your heels all the way through, right here. My toes are wiggling inside of my shoe. Come up, down all the way, up, down, and push. Down all the way, halfway, all the way, and up. Down, halfway, all the way, and up. You have the idea. What we're doing here is putting more time under tension at the hardest part in the movement. And by now, if you're doing this with me, I don't have to tell you that. And up, come down and come up. Keep your chin up, look forward, down and push. Good, you got this, you're almost there. Keep those knees together, I know. <laughs> and up, you got it, almost done. Nice job. Last two exercises with the weights. You're gonna bring them right up and over your chest, thumb end of the weights together, pinky end of the weight apart. Hips high, tailbone tucked. And we're gonna lower down into a chest press. So we lower right here, even with the torso, not down here, and hold. And then it's a push up. Breath out. On that press, make sure your head so resting on the ball so your neck is completely relaxed. You're looking good. You're almost there. You're doing these with me, right? Remember, if you're getting tired, you can stop early. Now, you're gonna cross these weights over unless you've got really heavy ones. You're gonna put one down in that case. Soften your elbows, inhale, and exhale to bring it up. Inhale, raise the hips a little bit. Exhale to lift it up. It's a bent arm pullover. And exhale, keep your neck and your shoulders relaxed. Breathe out, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Do a check-in for me. The ball is not moving. Your body is doing all the moving. Move from that shoulder joint, raise up a little bit through the hips, and then sink the hips to bring those weights back up and over. But keep that ball in place. Good, awesome. You are looking good. Enjoy that nice long stretch through the torso. So close. Hang in there. Bring those weights into your chest and you're gonna sit up carefully. Great workout. 
Now, let's go have a chat with my friend and top plastic surgeon, Dr. Tony Yoon. Hey, Tony. Hey, I've got a friend here, Teresa. She's lost a significant amount of weight, but she's got this dry, in her words, crappy skin. What do you suggest? Well, the first thing that I recommend that you try is there is a product called Lady Monkey Butt or Anti Monkey Butt. It's a very funny name for a product basically that contains cornstarch and calamine. And what it can do actually is if you apply it to those areas uh, that are getting chafed, it can cause those areas to feel drier, uh, not to develop so much moisture, and not to get these kind of irritations and things. So the first thing is to get either anti-monkey butt or lady monkey butt. You can just buy it online. You can buy it at drugstores. It's really inexpensive. I think it's less than $10. And that's a great way to kind of symptomatically treat you, especially in the warm summer months when the skin can really start rubbing. And what about diet? Tony, what are your recommendations on how important is what she eats? Obviously eating the right diet, eating foods that are high in antioxidants, colorful fruits and vegetables. By making your skin as healthy as possible, you're gonna avoid some of the irritation, the dry skin. All right, Tony, here's the big fig Newton. What's the best lotion that she could use to moisturize that skin? What's the secret? Try a body cream that contains a retinol. Now, retinol is a form of vitamin A, and it is very good for overall rejuvenating the skin. You don't necessarily want to apply one that you use for your face, however, on your body, because sometimes that can be too strong. There are certain products that you can buy over the counter. You can buy them at dr uh, drugstores, at doctor's offices, that do contain retinol. Mm -hmm. It's for the body. It helps to moisturize as well as improve the skin. Tony just gave us some great advice for how to eat our way to healthier skin. Let's walk into the kitchen for Minute Maid Meals and put it to work. The great thing about all the things that Dr. Tony shared with us is that what he wants us to do to get great skin from the inside out is also gonna be there to help you boost metabolism with muscle building support. Let's take a look at all the ingredients we're gonna put right in your smoothie that you need for both. So let's start with the antioxidant rich, bright colored vegetables like spinach. Now we could use kale, but I chose spinach today. Then there's berries. About a cup of berries gives you great antioxidant boosting power and vitamin C, all that you need for the day. Both help your skin. Then we need protein for both muscles post-workout. Whey protein works as long as you tolerate dairy it's great for the muscles from the inside out, but it's also great as far as a collagen booster for great skin. Then I'm gonna add some green tea powder, huge antioxidant, and raw cacao powder. So make sure if you're eating that chocolate bar instead, you just have one that's 70%. So make sure you're getting the right thing. Let's put it all in and blend it up. Let's see what we got here. Mm. And to encourage you to get started on skin and muscles, building from the inside out, you're gonna take five off or take 10 off and go run with that coupon to foreverfitandfab.com and get your protein shake. Cheers. The key flip of the day is it's never too late. Losing 110 pounds and maintaining that loss since the age of 53 is absolute proof. Thanks so much, Teresa, for your question and let us know how it goes. And now I'd love to hear from you. What's your question? What's your biggest challenge right now in Flipping 50? Send me your question to flipping50tv.com and if I choose your question for the show, you get exclusive access to the After 50 Fitness Formula for Women online course and a copy of You Still Got It Girl, my book. Plus my friends at Anne Marie Skincare send you a trio of their full size products you're going to love. Even if we don't choose your question for the show, you get immediate access to my Muscles in Minutes guide for toning those hard to tone areas. And if you have cellulite, you're gonna love this. 
What are you waiting for? Let's start flipping 50 together.